Okay, remember this is on the left side and this is on the right side. Now I'm going to change the, this is a column. This is one column, two column. Now I want to put this website into the top and then this website into the down. So where you are going to change? Now you can change it here. Instead of the columns and the slides, it is written rows, R-O-W-S rows. If I change the columns to rows, what is going to happen? Look at now. Okay, what is going to happen? R-O-W-S rows, R-O-W-S rows. Okay, from the column, I change the rows. Okay, then it is going to be, the first one is going to be on top. And then the second one is going to be on down. So top and down now. Now file, save and refresh. See, it is going to be on down, up now. This website, the first website is going to be on up and then the second website is going to be on down. So this is called how you use the frame. It is up to you. You can make two frame or you can make three frame. It is up to you, up to the students. Okay, or up to the user. But usually we don't make like this, okay? We only prefer the this size, right and left. Okay, not like the rules. Okay, so I don't want to cover this one for longer. You have to know here, you just write this one. And then you can change the percentage here. You can change the rules and column. And then you have to adjust the two website here. Whether left and right or top and down here. Okay, so this is again very easy. You don't have a body part. You only have the frame here, no body, because the website are already created. You are just combining to them. Okay, so this is again, this one they usually don't ask in the uh, exam, but if you want to put this one in your website when you have a project, you can use it this one or for your information only. Exam usually they don't ask to create the this, uh, I mean, frame, okay? But they only ask the one of the definition for one marks here. The definition that you have to know, okay? So what is a frame here? Just look at the definition here. What is a frame? Here, the frame, with frame, you can display more than one. More than one means that here, I combine two. This is a one and this is the one. So you can place more than one HTML document. So this is the one document, one web page we created, and this is another web page. Two, one, then you combine. Sometimes you can even combine three also, okay? So this is in the same browser window, same window. So which means the same window means that when you click, then they combine it here, okay? Each HTML document is called a frame. So this one is the, this is also one frame, this is also one frame, two frame here. Okay, each frame is independent of the other. So which means that this is make yourself and then this is also make yourself. It is not related to each other. This is called independent of each other. So this one is a just you have to know. Okay, so that's why you have to know the frame is that you already created your web page, two pages, then just combining. Okay, then this 20% and 80%, you can adjust yourself. You want to put 30% and 70% or 15% and 85%. It is up to you how you want to design. Okay, so I hope this is a not difficult. This is very easy. You already have a two website. Okay, you already created two website. And then after that, you just combine. Okay, by using the, this line. And then this percentage, you can adjust it. Okay. So the next one is very important is here. Other two slides are very important for midterm and final exam. And then you have to know, this is how you are going to create the tables. How you are going to create the tables, okay? So the tables are very important and the midterm, final exam. And then when you are going to do the project, you have to include the tables also. Now let's see, the tables are defined with the table tag. So here, this part, you already know this part, uh, the fixed part, okay? I believe that all the website, you already know these things, okay? These are the title, it is going to appear, HTML tables. So now inside the body, everything, whenever you want to appear, we write it inside the body here. So body open and body close. And then here you are going to start writing the table. Now we are going to write the table tag, but you have to write the border equal to one. 
we will try to change this border one two three and then we will see how it is going to be changed this is the table here creating the tables okay and table is divided into rows rows are here rows is called this is this is one row this is two row and this is the three row okay so that's why you have to know that when you write that when you design the table you have to design you must finish this row first then after the second row after the third row and each row is divided into data cell this is called data okay you have to put inside the data so that's why when the table is going to start you have to write this table start and then you have a table close here table is closing here okay then after that what you are going to do now after this table is closed, then you put the, the this border one is this one. If you put the border two or border three, it is going to be very thick. We will change it now. So this is where you must put the table border. Okay, what is a TR? TR is for table row. This is a one, two, three. You have a three row here. So you must open all the time TR. TR open and then TR close. So this is for the first row. This is for the number one, first row. Okay, this is number one here. You have a three row, one, two, three. Okay, so the first one here, they write for the number one row. Okay, then they, you have to open the TR. TR means table row, TR close. So which means that you are going to start writing the first row. Okay, so the first row you have a ID and name, ID and name. But when you look at the, this table, IDM name are bold color. Bold color is called heading. So that's why you have to write the TH. TH is called heading. Make sure that TH is for heading. Table heading. T is for table, H is for heading. So that's why if you write the TH, it is color is going to be dark like this, heading color. Okay, so then the first row have a ID and name. You have a ID and name. How about the second row now? Second row start with the TR and another TR. Oh, here, you close here. TR open and TR close. So this is the second row now. And this second row, you have a ID number, 20190001. This is the ID, you put it. And then the name is Ahmad Saleh, Ahmad Saleh. So this is the things. You are going to put the data, TD here now. After the heading, you have to change to TD. TD open, TD close, TD open, TD close. This is for the second row. The third row is this one, TR and TR open and TR close. This is for the third row. So, and here, when you look at here, then this is also the data. When you are going to enter the information about your students, this is called TD. When you are going to put the heading, like ID and name, you put the TH. So only these things you have to remember. You have a TR, TH, and TD. You have only three types. What is a TR? TR means that each row start with the TR and then close with the TR. Then when you are going to put the table heading part, then you write the TH. When you are going to enter the information, okay, then you write the TD. So you have only three words, TR, TH, and TD. There is no other words. Okay, so please try to remember. So now here the table heading, table TH, table heading, ID and name. Under the table heading, you have a two student information, table data. The first one is here and second one is here and then this is the name. Okay, so let's try these things now and the notepad. Okay, I have recorded this one and then after that, I will upload it into the, sorry, YouTube, and then I will put it there. Now I'm going to copy this one, and then I'm going to put it here. This is everything I copy from the slides here. Edit, copy, sorry, and then edit, paste. So now this is the table here, okay? So in this table, as you know, the, as I say, the first one is that we already know this is the HTML open and HTML close. And then we have a heading part, 
the heading will be HTML table. So we start with the body. Everything we are writing inside the body. So now we are going to open the table border one. Okay, so I will show you how to change to two or three. It is then when I change two to three, how the border is going to change. So this is a fix. Whenever you are going to create the table, you must put the border. Okay, and then only this number can be changed. This is a fix. You must fix this one. Only the number you can change. Other things cannot change. And then you have a three words again. You have a TR. Each row is open with TR. And then close with TR. See, this is a TR main table row. One row open and one row close. Inside the one row, you have a table heading, TH, ID and name. Okay, two column. And then after that heading, after heading finish, you are going to enter the data. Another row, you have a table data here, TD and TD. This is for the information about the student, student ID and student name. And then another information, another row, TR and TR close. Inside there, you have a TD and TD. Okay, now I'm going to save these things now. File, save as. And then I'm going to save it and this inside the new folder, no problem. I'm going to say table, T-A-B-L-E table dot H-T-M-L. Save. Okay, so now go and run it. Let's go to the website and here, this is the C table. Just now I save it. When I open this and see, this is the table. Do you see the table? Okay, do you see the table? This is the table that just now we created. Now let's go and change another one. This one, let's see if I put the three, how it is going to be changed now, this table. Now I will save. Whatever you change here, you have to save first. File, save, and refresh. See, this outside border is thick, very thick now, very dark. So because of the three here. So this is up to you. And then again, in the exam, if you see like a little bit dark, you put like a three. But if you put the five here, it is going to be very dark. Save, this is the border. See, table, table border is dark. Save, refresh. See, it is very like, thick now, very dark. So that's why this five is the changing the outside the border. Okay, then it is a up to the, only this number can be changed. This did, this sentence is fixed. Only number have to be changed. Okay, now let's go and edit the table now. I want to add the another column. Where I'm going to add? The first row, I'm going to add another column. ID, name, and another one is called what? ID, name, and major. I will put major. M-A-J-O-R, major. M-A-J-O-R, major. So student major, what is the ID or IS major? So this is one of the things that I can edit. So now you're going to have a three column here. Okay, so if, if since I have a three column, I have to enter the data for the Ahmad Saleh and Ali. Here, for the Ahmad Saleh, for the table data, I'm going to add another table data. What is a major? Major is for example, IT, okay? And this Ali site, the major is going to be IS. See? Okay, so this is the thing. So now I added one of the column called major. Under the major, Ahmad Salim is IT and Ali Said is IS. Okay, so now file, save, and then refresh. See, I have added the table. So this is how you can edit. Okay, you only need to know the three things, TR, TH and TD. How you use TR, TH and TD, then you can just add it here. No problem. Okay, so, and then again now, I want to add the another students here. So another student, if I want to add the information down here, you have to put what? You have to put the row. So you are going to add the whole thing like this. Just copy starting from TR until here. See, this is the one of the student information. So just copy the whole things 
from here and then I'm going to copy the whole thing and then just, just change all the things now. For example, I'm going to change this one 2020. The ID is different, it should be different 200109. Okay, the name is, for example, Ahmad. I already have Ahmad. Okay, for example, okay, NEL Manel Sad. Okay, I just put another name. Okay, then major, maybe you can put it engineer or whatever it is, no problem. Major is the same. No, 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 now here I want to change something. Okay, because uh, if I'm not going to put anything, then you just put it here. If it is not going to be appear, then I don't want to put anything and then just leave it like this. For example, file, save. Okay. Refresh. See, if I, I don't put anything, it is not appear anything. Okay, so, but you must have this one. Okay, you must have this one. You cannot delete this. For example, let's say if I delete this, because they, these students don't put anything here, they didn't put the major for these students. So just delete this one. And then what will happen? See, file, save. It is like this table, this one is not going to appear. File, save, refresh. See, this is not going to be a PR. So you must put that things, TD. Okay, you must put the TD, okay, without the anything. So now you are going to put the TD, but inside you not put anything. Okay, you not put anything. You must put the TD, then only then this box is going to be a PR. Otherwise, the box is not appeared. So this is the things. So I believe now how you can add the column, column and how you can add the row. Okay. So now I want to show you the other new things. Not the other new things. And the exam, they are not going to ask you only to draw the table. Before the drawing, they might ask you to include the image also. Because how to include the image now? Here, you can include the Seoul University College logo. Seoul University College logo is here. You know, I include the logo, remember? Where is the Seoul University College logo? IMG SRC. Seoul University College. I have included the logo, not the background. Okay? So remember and here, and this website, I have here, this logo is here. Okay, when you want to see the source code, let's see, you paste source code. How, to, how you include that image? The image, how did you include here? You include at here, image SRC, this is the fixed one. Image SRC logo, okay? And then after that, you put the this one because the size is very big. That's why you can adjust it. This is, you can combine from there. Okay. So, and, the, and this one, you can combine more than one page. So, that's why here, not only the table. Now, when I am going to put inside the body here, before the table, inside the body, I'm going to insert the image. You, Seoul University College logo, I'm going to insert now. Okay, and let's go and see how it is going to change the website. Where is my website? Where is my frame or oh, this one? So now, see, before in the body, I have the table. But now before the table, I add one of the image called logo. Okay, so and then you have to know also this logo is, I already have it there. This logo is already here. You must have this logo in your same place. If you are doing in desktop, everything must be in the same place. Okay, so now save it now. When I save and refresh, see my logo is here. So this is the things, you can combine everything. Whatever we learned at the beginning, you can combine everything. Okay, so even here now, for example, this SSI one, I will combine it for you now. 
So that's why every part you can combine. For example, this is not the background. This is SSI one. Now let me take this one. This one also I want to put it there. So let's go for view page source. So these are the things that I have written inside the body. So I will take this one, everything's okay. And then I will just go and paste it there. And then notepad here. After the logo, I will just put it here. So it means that, so before the table start, okay, I'm adding Seoul University College Information System and Department. Okay, file, save. And then refresh. See, everything you can edit here. So this is the things, how it works, okay? So that's why whatever you learn, when you design, you are going to add everything, okay? So that's why even though I'm explaining the, the part by part, okay, you can add it later, so on, so. So if you want to put, let's say, this whole university college in the middle, how you can put the middle? Center, middle is the center. Just open the center, C-E-N-T-E-R center, okay? Then after that, how many you want to put? One, two, three. You want to put this three line in the center. So you just go for this three line, okay? Then after that, you close the center here. C, close, C-E-N-T-E-R center, okay? Center. So it means that this three line, this three line is going to be in the center. Center open and center close. You don't have to do one by one. You can do one by one also, but one by one is tiring. So starting from center here, only when you close center here. So these three things, which means that the first one is an image. The second one is a Seoul University College heading. And then the third one is the information system and technology department. So these three things is going to be in the middle. Okay, let's see now. File, save and refresh. See, they move to the middle. So these are how you play around, how you can play around these things, everything. Okay, even you can put the mark you. You know, just now we study about the mar 2 ue mark you means that this is the moving part. You can even add this moving part also. Okay, so these are how you play around and then it is really easy and then whatever you learn, you can do, yes. What, you want to put the table? Yes, why not? Why not? So before the table start, just write the center. C E N T E R center. And at the end, you close uh, at the end of the table. At the end of the table, before the table, at the end of the table, close the table. Not close the, close the center, C N T E R center. So which means the table will be in the center also. Now file, save, and go and refresh. Where is this? Here. Okay, refresh. See, your table is in the middle. Everything you can adjust. Anything, everything. Okay, because my time is almost finishing. Only three minutes less. I want to go for the last slides here. Then after that, see, these are really very easy. Okay, then please review it. I will put it in the website. Yeah, I have to pay fine, 50 real. My daughter, uh, the card, ID card expired. 50 real, too much. Okay, sorry, yeah. So this one, please, okay. Uh, last slide, last slide is also again very interesting. I want to add it here now within the, only one minute is okay for this one. This is interesting, this is the list. Okay, how we are going to do list. You see, the list means that, look at the here. We have a coffee and milk, we write one and two. This is called order list. We have a coffee and milk, we put it here, like this list, not the one and two. This is called unordered list, okay? And then after that, we have a definition list. These are called the coffee, and then they put why, what is a coffee? They put there, what is a milk here? So let's go for here, order list and, and order list first. 
What is the difference between order list? Order list is start with this one. Okay, you can put it in here. I'm just going to add after the table. Okay, after the table, I'm going to add it here before the body part. So I'm going to add, it's almost the time is up. Okay, after this, please come if possible. I just want to finish here. See, OL means they're order list, order list. Order list means that they are going to give one coffee to milk. Okay, so I'm going to write the same thing here. Okay, an order list. Now here, instead of OL, I just change to UL. UL is called an order list. This is an order list. Now file, save, and go and change the website now and see what is going to happen. See, this is here. The first one, one and two is called order list. The second one is called an order list, okay? So in the midterm, it is only order list and an order list we will be asking. The last one is not going to ask. Definitionally, list is not going to ask. This is for the uh, final exam, okay? So only order list and an order list will be asking, okay? So that's why you have to know order list is one and two. You can even add the three, four, no problem. Just adding three, four is very easy, okay? For example, like if I want to add another one, I can just write there, bread, B-R-E-A-D, bread, okay? And here also I can add another one, no problem, okay? Bread, B-R-E-A-D, bread. Then after the file, save, 